Hey everybody, this is Dave, and you may have seen my video where I mounted my iPhone 5 to my motorcycle handlebars. This way I can glance down, see some notifications, and I can also fill it with music and have it for my road trip to Laconia. With this system, we need a way to control our iPhone without having to reach down and physically touch the iPhone. And what I came up with was the Sateki. Now this is a first generation Sateki remote. The second generation is on Kickstarter right now and what they're doing is they're shrinking down the remote to the size of this D-pad here. And, and it basically will come with a wrist uh, so you can wear it on your wrist and it also come with a motorcycle mount or a handlebar mount. And we can have it smaller and connected here. Well, The way I did this one uh, is I used it Velcro and this is the uh, 3M dual lock velcro and I attached it to a GPS holder on my bike and the GPS holder swivels so I can basically turn it sideways like this and when I have my hand on my grips I can reach over and press any buttons. Now this is a Bluetooth remote. This is a Stateki Bluetooth multimedia remote and what it does is it allows you to control your iPhone without actually touching your phone. So it has a dedicated home button and that's important because a lot of these remotes that you get, you press and hold this and it only activates Siri. It doesn't do the home button. Why that's important is because if you have other tweaks on your phone, if you're jailbroken, say for instance, and you want to use uh, Gugiri or Now Now, uh, that's uh, tweaks that you find in Cydia that allows you to use Google's text to speech, which is much better than Apple's Siri uh, text to speech. And it will hand off commands to Siri, like when you tell it to open an app or whatever. Uh, but you can do Google searches as well. And I'm going to show you a demo of that in a little bit. But let me talk a little bit more about this remote. So here we have the dedicated home button. We have a mute button. So if you really need to hear what's going on on the road, just hit that button and you can hear what's going on. And it's got the keyboard button here. If you're in app and you need the keyboard to pop up, you press that. It's got fast forward. It has rewind. It has pause and play and it has volume controls up and down. You can also, if you have your photo app open on your phone and say you want to take a video, whether it's a selfie or you want to take a picture or video of the road, you can shutter using the shutter button here. So it also has this little control pad down here and basically you have a, wi a Bluetooth button here and it will send out a signal. You only have to pair once to your, to your iPhone and once you paired once in the past, all you have to basically do is hit the power button here and you'll automatically be paired. So you could shut this off. It ha has an automatic shut off feature if you don't use it for a while. And then you just cycle the power button. So once you pair up, uh, it'll give you four digits. You put the four digits in and you hit the return button. And then basically you're paired up with the phone. I like this. This is going to be much safer for me to ride on the road. A lot of people are doing it, believe it or not. Uh, they're putting this here. You don't want to be reaching down, especially if you got a little glare and you can't really see. you got these nice big buttons here. So I'm going to put a link for the Kickstarter page. They're going to release the smaller version of this Sateki with a motorcycle mount. That's going to be sweet. But for now, I like to use this. It's one of the best remotes I ever used. It's very reliable. And you click the buttons. It works perfectly. Now, as far as the phone goes and Siri, what I want to do is I'm buying this splitter, and I'm going to make a video about this. I'm buying a splitter that splits up the microphone and the audio right and left. And you bring the audio right and left to the speakers, amp speakers, and then you have the microphone, which you can run right into your helmet. So that when you press and hold the home simulated home button, you'll get Siri, and you talk through your mic, and you tell Siri you know, what you need, and her response will be right through the speakers uh, on your, your bike. Basically, this is about this remote here and how you can control everything with your thumb without taking your hands off of the handlebars. So I have the Sateki remote here and my iPhone 5. I have Bluetooth on, and basically all you have to do if you paired in the past is turn the power on. You get the red light, and it will automatically connect now we can hit our home button and it will simulate the home button and that's great. Now let me show you, uh, you can hit play, you play your music, you could pause, you could raise the volume, 
lower the volume, and you could skip songs. So we'll pause that out now. Let me show you the dedicated home button and how to use it with Siri. Now I have Google Geary and I also have Now Now, and these are Cydia tweaks, but basically it remains the same if you just have Siri installed. So let's hit our home button, press and hold. What time is it? And it At the tone, the time will be 1.23 p.m. And Google hands it over to Siri. Now if I want it just Google to answer. Google, what time is it? By using the Google in the prefix. The time is 1.24 p.m. And if I just wanted Siri to do it. Siri, what time is it? It's 1.24 p.m. Now notice that Siri comes through the speaker on the iPhone, uh, regardless of what Bluetooth or Wi-Fi you have it connect to. But if you use the 3.5 millimeter jack and you split it up, you basically can talk to Siri with a mic inside your helmet, and you can also have audio come out and onto the speakers that are mounted to your handlebars. That's the only way you're going to get Siri to come through the speakers, whether you're in a car or a motorcycle. Let's try something else. Take me to Laconia, New Hampshire. Getting directions to Laconia. <laughs> Starting route to 598 North Main Street. Head east on Pearl Street, then turn left onto Sheffield Road. Text my wife. Okay, what do you want to say to Lisa? Yes, pizza's fine. And just get some meat and maybe some pasta for dinner. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send your message. Open Pandora app. Multitasking. And you can shut out. Take a picture. So this has been the Satechi Bluetooth Multimedia Remote. Make sure you join them on Kickstarter. I hope this remote keeps you safe on the road, helping to keep you hands-free and eyes-free, and enjoy all of your multimedia. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer you right away. I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.